How's it going? It's Nick from Beer Engineers, and we've got a review of a beer from Pomona Island. I've never had a beer from Pomona Island. I must admit, I've heard the name for years. I assumed they were like an American beer or maybe a, I don't know, a Swedish or Nor Norwegian beer because the stuff, I, I don't know, I, I just, the, the stuff I saw, it was always like sour, like sours or pastry stouts, that sort of thing. Um, but this, I saw this on, I got this from Fuss Club. Thought, wow, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely try that. Um, and it's brewed with Cryo Simcoe, Nelson Sauvin and Amarillo. It's a thick, juicy double IPA that will lead you back to shore. Okay? So it's suggesting it's going to be, you know, a thick, a thick sort of porridge, porridgey double IPA. Coming in at... 8.2%. Now, canned at the end of May, best before February 2025. So, I mean, I've had this for about six weeks. So this is, but in fairness, it's, you know, it's only a few months old. If it's been stored correctly, it should be absolutely fine. And I trust, trust Fuss Club to do that. Yeah, so it should be there shouldn't be any hop fade or very little to be honest. And you know, it is um a thing that sometimes you, you don't want to drink them too green. I heard who was it? I can't remember, it was either Rowie from Craft Beer Basic or Rob from Hop Scene who said that um When they uh, do, um, sorry, I've just lost the plot. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get it into a glass and see what it's like. Okay, so it promised a thick dipper. It's not really. I say it's watery, but on the grain bill, I'm, I'm guessing barley wheat and oats. Barley oats and wheat. So, carbonation rising. I'm just thinking that's like the glass that the last one I had had a quite a lot of carbonation. Um, so. Yeah, it's hazy, but it's not it's not porridge by any means. Finger of bubbly white heads go for the nose. A lot going on there. Oh, really complex. Tropical citrus and dank all going together. Difficult to pick anything out, but I'm sure they're all there. Oh, that smells really the the aroma on that is really, really good. Um let's go for it, chin chin. Oh, that's full on. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I'm going to tell you about that. So it's really full on. Oh. Full on tropical. If there is any citrus there, it's orange. Big boom, tropical hit. Maybe there's a bit of bitterness there. My palate is just battered from drinking these type of beers, but there might be, I think there might be a bit, a bit, a bit of bitterness there. Try and say that after a couple of double IPAs. Um, oh, that's beautiful. It's not thick. Said thick on the can. The body is body's light medium. Oh, there's an intense, that's really intense. There is, there is an intense hoppy bitterness, but it's not, it's not like, it's not astringent. It's just intense. And tropical. What's in it? Um, 
Cryo Simcoe. Okay, so that's the orange coming through. Nelson and Amarillo. Amarillo's last in the mix. It's giving it a nice bit of bite. That's really, really nice. I really, really like that. Mmm. Okay. So, oh yeah. It's so full on. It, the, the punch off that, it's like boom. Um, that the, If you told me that was a triple IPA, I'd believe you. That's really full on. Really well done, Pomona Island. Never had a beer from them before, but that is... That's packing some serious hop saddies, I can tell you. Yeah, I'm going to give that 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10 for Good Morning Captain, double IPA, coming at 8.2%. Respect is due. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.